Christopher Avery here. This is a short video on how to track referral partner custom URLs. This is for referral partners for the Leadership Gift Program. So I am no expert in doing this and I'm only learning to do it my, myself. Uh, so there are many ways to do this uh, and here's the way I know. First you're going to need an account at bit.ly.com. Uh, so that's B-I-T-L-Y dot com. So we're going to log into my account there. Um, and this is going to show uh, tracking for various links that I've created uh, for various campaigns. Why do we do this? To experiment, to know what's working and, not, and what's not working. Uh, so then we're going to use a tool I was recently introduced to called Campaign URL Builder. And if you just uh, search on Campaign URL Builder, it will take you to the tool that I use, which is at a longer URL uh, that you're not going to want to write down right now, ga-dev-tools.appspot.com forward slash campaign-url-builder. So I just gave you a shortcut by simply searching for Campaign URL Builder. So now you're going to uh, go into your uh, referral account and you're going to grab the link that you want to track and copy that and then you're going to come back to the campaign URL builder you're going to put that in the first place where it says website URL then you have a number of fields that you can use to add information to the end of this link for tracking. I am not an expert on how to use all of these. You only need to use a few. So let's say you're creating two different ads uh, and let's say you're going to use those on social media in three places, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. So it's going to give you six um, variables. Well, it's going to give you six alternatives uh, to track and see which one works better for you. And the idea is that you don't spend any money or you don't spend a lot of effort until you find something that works and then you double down on that one. So here I'm going to use campaign source and I'm going to use L for LinkedIn or I'm going to use T for Twitter or I'm going to use F for Facebook. Uh, and then down on campaign content, I'm going to have add one and add two or graphic one and graphic two. So I'm just going to use a one or a two. So now between the three different campaign sources and the two different contents, we have our six uh, different ads that are going to run. And this now uh, has created the URL that is universal across the internet for uh, campaign tracking. So the URL starts with the URL that you brought over from your referral partner, and then it added these two fields, UTM source equals F and UTM content equals two. Now, if you're just embedding this in an email, you can use this URL uh, or on a website or in a blog. If you're posting to social media and you want uh, a more attractive shortened URL, then you can shorten that um, to a bit.ly URL. Now you must be logged into a bit.ly account for this to work for you. If you were not, if I was not already logged into my bit.ly account, this would tell me that I need to be logged into a bit.ly account. So now you take this URL, you post it uh, with your Facebook post or your LinkedIn. Uh, well, in this case, which one did we say this was? We said it was our um, I need to go back. It's our Facebook. You post this in your Facebook account with this URL. Say click here and well we get a pretty bad result there. Oh there we go. Sorry. Temporarily uh, for some reason it didn't work but yes it does work. It takes you to the um, opt-in. Let's try that again just to be sure. We might have had just an internet glitch that said it couldn't be reached, yes. So that does it. Now if you go to your um, Bitly management page and refresh, you can see that in the sidebar column on the left, it just created 
a tracking um, area for us. So here's our source equals F and our content equals 2 and we've had one total click. That click happened to come from Spain which is where I am right now, uh, etc. And so that's how to track. Good luck. Thank you.